Scene one, take one, action. What is good guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Cause 4s. These are uh, currently the best version out there in the market, so we're gonna be taking a look up close in detail with these sneakers and I will be pointing out the flaws and also hitting them with the UV black light just to let you guys stay informed and educated. So let's get into the video. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. This is what the box comes looking like. Bottom of the box. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Comes with a card. This is the front. This is the back, dust bag, tips on the lace bag, inside tissue paper, it does have the black cause paper and the white traditional paper. It does have the YDM stamp in the inside of the box. No other stamp on the lid. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and get up close and personal with a little B-roll of the Cos 4. Let's go. Alrighty guys, hopefully you guys like the, the little B-roll, nothing too crazy. So let's go ahead and talk about the flaws on this particular cause here. First flaw. First flaw would be the tongue height is actually a little bit shorter as opposed to the retail, even though on video it looks pretty good. It is a little bit shorter. It should be a little bit taller, um, like most Jordan 4 tongues are. So a little bit shorter. Second flaw would be the print of the cause hands throughout the upper of the shoe. They are not as defined and detailed as the retail pair is. That's a, another giveaway there. Even though throughout some of the shoe, there is some that are very detailed and defined. They're not, they're not as consistent as they should be throughout the whole upper. Also too, the uh, suede on the upper should be more buttery. I mean, to be honest with you guys, this particular sneaker is very buttery. Like that suede on the tongue should be a lot more rough uh, looking, a lot more hairier. But these are very nice though. Another detail that I noticed also too on the laces, they're not as waxed as the retail pair is. Even though these are okay, the retail pair are a lot more waxy finish to them. Another thing that kind of stands out is the leather on the inner sock lining. It's actually very good. Uh, retail, I think it's supposed to be a little bit more buttery, softer. Another giveaway and flaw on this particular shoe is the bottom. The sole should be a little bit more translucent, semi-translucent, uh, versus these are kind of like milky, uh, gummy, foggy where you cannot see the cause hands as good as you normally would be able to. On this pair, look, actually on this pair looks better. The other one was a lot more creamy where the hands weren't as defined as it is here. 
production dates on this replica size nine and a half is 10 5 16 through 12 22 16. the other flaw i did find with the uv light is when you are pointing at it you can actually see uv pen marks throughout some of the upper as you can see it right there and right there too also and right there also another detail that i noticed on this particular pair the back pull tabs are not as defined on one as they are on the other one again that just happens to vary from batch to batch or shoe to shoe Alrighty guys, so there you go. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully I didn't make it too long for you guys. I just wanted to, you know, drop some knowledge, some information on you guys. Um, what to look for when you are buying these from the secondary market. They are up there right now in price still. So just be careful, man. There's a lot of these out there in the secondary market. So just be aware and be careful, man. The main purpose again of this channel is to inform and educate you guys. Do your due diligence, do your research. Uh, look online, um, look for legit checks. You can ask le for legit checks help help in some of the Reddit groups. Uh, a lot of guys are very informative and educated on the two also. So yeah, man, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys want me to keep bringing these type of videos for you guys, man, hey, if any dollar, anything you want to drop down below, anything will help. It'll, you know, it'll all be spent to bringing you guys these type of content. And that's about it, man. It's your boy B. Like, comment, subscribe. Please hit the like. Share this video. Let's get this type of information out there to people that want to know what's what's out there, what to look for. And that's about it. It's your boy B, and I'm out to the next banger. We out, fam. Peace.